Hi guys, so today we are at the Florida State Fair. Um, yeah, so um, almost every year we try to go to the fair. Um, I think we've gone to the fair uh, every year since 2020. Um, and yeah, we definitely weren't going to miss this year, 2024. So here we actually have some new shows this year. Uh, this is the Rainforest Show. As you can see, this guy has a lot of rare um, kind of parrots and birds. Um, and he's giving a little presentation about it. One of my favorite things about the fair is the food. Um, yes, everything at the fair is quite unhealthy for the most part, and it is pretty expensive, but there are a lot of things that you can only get here at the fair. And um, we're definitely going to be uh, getting some of those foods today. So it looks like Bello Knock is back with another show. Uh, this is the Bello Knock Aqua Rock, um, which looks like another uh, water ski show. Uh, last year we saw Bello Knock's um, aqua show here too, and uh, we were seeing a lot of cool tricks on jet skis, and um, and it was a good show. Um, we see Bello Knock. Uh, we've been seeing Bello Knock almost every year we've gone to the fair, and his shows are always pretty entertaining. They're really good stunt shows, so I definitely recommend uh, seeing Bello Knock's uh, shows when you're here at the Florida State Fair. I don't think he'll be disappointed. With the beautiful water. Andrew is on a flyboard. The flyboard has been around for only about 10 years, and Andrew is in. So let's give him a nice hometown welcome. That's Andrew Puko. <laughs> Another new show this year they actually have a sea lion show um, and all the years we've been to the fair since 2020 we have never seen a sea lion show here before so now you don't have to come to you don't have to just go to sea world and see sea lions you can actually see them here uh, at the florida state fair this year um, maybe they'll come back next year too i definitely am uh, excited to see what kind of uh, tricks and what kind of uh, show they're gonna do here Well, Mickey, I don't know how we're ever going to top a recycling sea lion. Come on, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two. Did anybody count? Come on, guys, this is going to need everybody's up. Let's try it one more time. Everybody this time. On the count of three. One, two, three, gone. You guys over here, pretend you're 
you to sit in that front. Alright, bring it back, Donna. And knock your papers on the train. Come on, you guys, make some noise for them. Come on, get up, get up. Oh, you're hanging, you're hanging job. Get up. Come on, come on, come on. And knock your papers on the train. Come on, come on, come on. 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 So this year we did also see Circus Hollywood like we do every year, but uh, they have become very, very, very strict about no filming videos. Um, you know, in previous years, they also said no videos, but they were actually walking around the circus uh, hall many times with signs saying no videos, no videos. And they do actually um, call you out if you are filming videos in there in the Circus Hollywood tent. So... Um, yeah, usually I take a few pictures. Um, Circus Hollywood is actually very worth it to see while you're here at the Florida State Fair. Florida State Fair. Um, it is very entertaining. It is a full circus. It's a full show compared to the other shows that are about 20 minutes long. Circus Hollywood is about an hour, so it is a full show. Uh, there's camels. Um, there's a really cool circus acts. And this year they actually brought a lot of new circus acts too. So uh, definitely Circus Hollywood is something I, I recommend everyone to see when they're here at the fair, uh, whether it's this year or next year, it's definitely really worth checking out. Um, and now for our favorite time of the day of coming to the fair. Uh, we really love to walk around at night and see all the pretty lights and the attractions areas. And um, it's just so much prettier at night. It is really cold this year though. Um, Mid-February, it is still very cold here in Florida. Uh, we have gotten a really cold winter here this year, which is uh, kind of weird for Florida weather, honestly. So, as I promised, uh, we did get food from the fair. Uh, for lunch, I got uh, two Al Pastor tacos. Um, yes, I know, it is a half-eaten one-and-a-half. Uh, one-and-a-half Al Pastor tacos uh, pictured here. I was a bit hungry and was eating when I was walking. Um... Yeah, they weren't bad, a little dry um, because I don't like putting, you know, salsa and guacamole and sour cream. And yeah, the Al Pastor was a little dry. They were expensive too, $5 per taco for a total of $10. So it is pretty expensive. Um, I didn't get a chance to take a picture of it, but usually when we come to the state fair, we always get uh, $2 iced tea, uh, $2 flavored iced tea. We usually like the uh, strawberry iced tea or peach iced tea because that's the cheapest thing you can get at the fair <laughs> two dollars for a whole thing of iced tea so it's not bad um all right we also got a plate of curly fries um this cost us ten dollars but it is a lot of curly fries and they were freshly made and they are really good it is one of those things that uh a must get at the fair very unhealthy but very very delicious um, and lastly, I did get a strawberry funnel cake. Also one of the must gets from the fair because uh, the fair is the only place that you can get fresh funnel cakes with fruits on top. Uh, there was apple, strawberry, um, there was a uh, strawberry cheesecake, uh, cinnamon. So there was a lot of varieties of flavors here at the fair this year. But yeah, it's the only place you can actually get a fresh funnel cake with fruits. Um, a lot of places sell funnel cake, but not with fruits on top. So this is definitely, you definitely should, you must get this uh, from the fair. Um, all right, so um, it's getting chilly and uh, we're going to head home in a little bit after we eat this funnel cake. So thank you everyone for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.